Welcome guys to this new video of TechSpress. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get started with Electrum Bitcoin Wallet. Now, Electrum Bitcoin Wallet is actually really bit simple to install it and to get started course with your computer. So in order to get started with Electrum, this is an actual great place to get started. Uh, so first of all, what we're going to be here is to go into electrum.org. Inside here, into org, what you want to do is to choose the option that says download. Here into download is going to be taking you into the sources and the binaries. Make sure that you have the last release of Electrum. Now here what you want to do is to choose a source and the binaries. So the installation for this application, in this case we have an actual Windows. So that means that we needed to choose a Windows installer. So if I choose this Windows installer, it's going to be downloading here this element is going to be appearing here into the upper side. So once the download has been completed, what you want to do is to open the installer file, which is appearing in here. And what I wanted to do now is to follow the prompts on screen instructions to install the process and straightforward it should only take a few minutes. Once the installation has now successfully done, what you want to do is to open Electrum. So I'm going to go into searched. I'm going to try to look for Electrum. Here is my application. So we're going to hit now into open. After we open, we're going to be prompted now to create a new wallet or to restore an existing one. I'm going to hit now into next, next once again. What kind of wallet do you want to create? So in this case, I'm going to choose to import with Bitcoin address or private keys. This is just in case you have your own Bitcoin address and you don't want to add much more. So in this case, I do have an actual wallet. So I wanted to restore it using my actual wallet that I currently have. And now, as you can see, we have the enabled update checked. So as you can see, now we have the actual Electrum wallet. Now, in this case, what you want to do is to back up your seed phrase. Electrum will generate an actual seed phrase for you. So this is an actual series of 12 random words that we need to back up to your wallet. So we write down the seed phrase in order to save those and make sure this phrase is crucial for recovering your wallet if you lose access to your device. So that's really up to you. Now, once you confirmed your seed phrase, you might be clicking to next and you can set an actual passcode. Once you actually set an actual passcode to enter each time you want to enter into your election wallet, you might be seeing something like this. So let's explore really quick the Electrum interface. With your wallet set up, let's explore the Electrum interface by hitting into the main window that displays your balance, transaction history, and available options. Do you see the tabs for? I'm going to open this tab. You can see the amount that we currently have. We have the balance. Here, down here, we have the actual looking of the passcode just in case you want to change it. You can change the preferences. You can see the units, the fiat uh, currency that I'm currently using. Let's say, for example, that I want to get started with USD. And the source should be, let's say, coin. Into the upper side, you should see elements, for example, the history, the sent, the received, and the addresses or channels. So receiving bitcoins to receive the money here into your wallet, choose the option that says received. So here into the description, you should be pasting an actual URL, the requested amount, in dollars and experience. So this is for only on-chain requests. And once you have done that, you can create request. Or what you can do is to choose this element so you can add a lightning request of a Bitcoin URL. Now to send money away, I'm going to choose the option that says the recipient here and choose for send. So pay to, you might need to paste an actual address once again, the description and the amount to making the actual payment. And of course, to manage addresses and transactions. In the addresses or the channel tab, what you can do is to generate multiple channels where you can get started to, let's say, adding more funds, enhancing your privacy, and so all the transactions. Of course, we needed to have at least two of Bitcoin to open a channel. This might be costing around $138, so that's totally up to you. In this case, we don't have that amount for this video, but you can do that if you... Now, here into the address, you should see that we have from this address where we can just receive our actual money. So make sure that you have the views of the coins. I can view context. I have a console and the notes. All of those elements, I can enable those here into the upper side so I can get started by, let's say, familiarizing more with my actual wallet. And lastly, guys, it's crucial to regularly back up your wallet. So go directly into file and hit into save the backup. So 
Once I've done this, of course, keep the file in a secure location such as an encrypted external drive or secure cloud storage device. And that's it for our Electrum wallet setup and tutorial for beginners. We hope you find this guide helpful guys and feel more confident managing your Bitcoin securely. So if you enjoyed this video guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this video. Have any questions you need further assistance, you can leave the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you next time.